I always curious as to how I get the green and blue background that Tango uses or how I use it in my thumbnails. In this video I'll be showing you how you can create your own blue and green background you can use to your thumbnails instead of sliding into my DMs 24-7 asking for the background like Hi Glitch, can you send me the background that you can use in your better thumbnails like Tankers? Like Come on man. But yeah, before we continue on with the video, currently there is a big percentage of people that are not subscribed and thank you for 900 subscribers by the way, we are like less than 100 to 1000 subscribers. If you want to be a part of the um, like first 1000 subscribers to be an OG subscriber and consider subscribing to the channel with um, post notifications enabled and maybe also consider liking the video too if you do join my content. Anyway, I don't want to waste any more of your time and uh, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so we're here on our desktop and as you see, I have Roblox player and Roblox Roblox Studio on my computer. Now when you install Roblox on your computer you should get Roblox Player and Roblox Studio automatically but if you have Roblox on your computer but not Roblox Studio and you want to try figuring out on how you can install Roblox Studio there's no um, other option to get Roblox Studio except if you uninstall Roblox and you reinstall it then you should get Roblox Studio automatically that way. You just want to go to Roblox Studio and just click on the two times and it should just load so we're gonna wait this to load and it should just take like a couple seconds. Now it's gonna take you to this page where it has the base plate and etc. But we're gonna go into my files, we're gonna go into the bed bills. This is all my games by the way, and um that's Arsenal by the way. Uh that's not that, okay? We're not talk we don't talk about that. Let's just ignore it. This is the place that I make all my thumbnails. So as you see, we have got my blue sign avatar with no face. That's kinda of sus. We got Mr. Kevin here from the movie up. If you haven't seen that movie, that movie's a great movie. We got the Barbarian, we got Speck, uh, me with the smiley face, Law Dogs with the Jade Hammer, and they um, age at me. That was supposed to be a better video. Apparently, I am not doing it because I'm too lazy. But looking all around here, we have the green um, grass here and the background. Um, this is the um, game that I used to make the um, thumbnail or like background thingy that I use in my thumbnails. Now, like if you come over here and I just like, we can ignore that bit, pretend that didn't exist. Yeah, I'll just, I'll do something like that and like get something like that and then I'll just put the render on screen and then that's how I do my thumbnails. But I'm going to show you on how you can do this. I'm not going to link this game because this game has a lot of stuff and I don't want to do it. So you, I'm just going to close out of it. You want to go to the section called new and um, it should like load something like this when you like launch Roblox Studio. What you're going to need to do is you're going to press on the classic base, base, base plate Bake classic base base. Now you don't want to press on the new one because it has the atmosphere stuff and I do not want to deal with that because it's not fun. Now as you see we are in on the old, old base plate and as you see it looks kind of dog water because we got the base plate like Lego bits thingy stuff and we got the crappy background that you, um, we don't want. But we're going to do some changes with the base plate first and then we will do the skies. So you just want to press this little arrow here by the workspace if you have the explorer tab. If you don't have the um, Explore tab and um, the Properties tab, um, I thought what you gotta do is you have to go to the View tab over here, and like it, like these are here because what you need to do is just press these two, and then yeah, pretty much something like that. Now you want to press on the arrow along the workspace and where it says space plate I want you to press on it. Now if you have the properties tab enabled as you see it should have the brick color, the um, shadow and etc but we're going to press on the color here. Now there's all these colors and like as you see it's probably like hurting your eyes right now I'm going to stop. Now we can see we have the green section so as you see we got this color um we're not uh we're not going to use that color. Now to do the bright green background you want to just have your thing go to here. We don't want that too bright so we don't want aiming too bright. I'm probably going to go with uh, the full screen but like the um, grass that I use in my thumbnails I use the um thing where yeah um slime green lime lime green okay i use lime green but yeah you can use this if you want to but i'm gonna go with the false green now this tab should be called material um it should say plastic what you're gonna need to do is you just have to press on plastic and you just want to scroll down until you see this material called smooth plastic i want you to press on it and boom it should have this like thingy where it's like when you remove your textures um yeah it will just be like for an example if this is like concrete that's material concrete thingy and you delete your textures where it had concrete in it then yeah it's going to be something like that now this is probably hurting your eyes right now but um yeah we're just not going to do touches of the sun now um yeah it may look like that it is, it is a good background if you want to use this on your background then yeah sure you can do that but if you don't want to then yeah if you go onto the mold tab you have the toolbox tab if you don't have that open then yeah um, again just press this toolbox tab in the view like section and then yeah it will show that there's this um thing called the sunless blue sky if it's not there then just search 
water are uh, just a blue sky box or something you just want to hold this and just drag it into the sky and it should just change the um, sky and boom you should have something like this now how do you take a photo and use it for your funnels if you can use photo peel or photoshop well that's the part where it comes handy um if you're on the home section you just want to press on the view tab where it has all the you know, tabs and etc and there should and there should be this button called the um, screenshot button so um we're just gonna close these tabs so we don't need them so we have this like long thingy whatever it is and we're gonna have it at the um right position but like we can change this later in the editing software so we're gonna like have something like this some um, yes you can change the background stuff like to whatever you want you can play around the um thing if you want to find like the background i'm just going to show you so i'm just going to show um search up blue background if it does not come up then just search up background don't search up blue background because it's dumb but search up blue sky and it should come up with all these blue skies so like for an example if i want this like baby blue um sky i could just drag it into here and it just should should just look like something like that but i just don't like it because it's dog water and uh yeah now i'm just going to close out the toolbox and how to screenshot this is you're just going to press on the screenshot tab now we're just probably going to screenshot like two more times so just click two more times once you have finished um screenshotting they should be in your roblox folder so i'm gonna go to my folder and yeah there should be a tab called roblox so if you have roblox the roblox tab and yeah just press on that two times and now you're just gonna scroll down all the way to the bottom until you see these three backgrounds here we're just gonna press on them and boom you should have something like this and that actually doesn't look too bad that actually looks pretty good now how we're going to use this in our final is we'll be using photopeer i will link photopeer in the description below it's a free um website that you can use to just add your funnels it's pretty much photoshop but a free version so you want to press on new project and it should come with this like new project like thingy like the, all this like social etc we're going to name this probably just like a blue and green uh, i'm not going to put in background because i already have a background but the, um, the width and the height that you want, for the um, width, um, we're going to have this at 1280 and the height we're going to have at 720. Now you want the width and the height to be like that because that's a YouTube funnel. If you're making YouTube funnels and you want to have the green, blue background, etc. Then yeah, you're going to like want something like that. Just hit on create and you should have something like this. Now how do we import our um, blue and green background onto just like this piece of like white thing. So you want to press on file then you want to press on open and place now i'm going to find my file because yeah i'm going to have to blow a lot of the stuff because a lot of it is personal you want to go to your roblox um folder and you just want to like press on the um, roblox screenshot that you've taken just press on open and you should have this like long wide um screenshot now how to like make this like fit onto like the thumbnail you just want to hold the um left left click just hold it and yeah do that um to like chance like to scale this you want to hold shit and like the yeah, um, left mouse and like you should be doing like something like this and if you just hold the mouse without holding shift and it's gonna do just like more like this thingy like i don't like it like if it does something like that and you don't like it we just press ctrl c and it will go back to normal just do the same thing just press edit and free transform it's uh, just needs to do, like okay i didn't say a shortcut but yeah there's a shortcut um i forgot what it is so i'm not gonna say it because i'm too lazy you just want to drag this until it fits on the thumbnail and as you see as you can see it fits on the thumbnail perfect so we're gonna go for something like this and um we're just gonna put a random render that i'm not gonna do a tutorial on how to do renders but we're gonna just do put one on for an example so we're gonna use my um leak render so um this does not have legs let's just pretend it has legs so yeah um pretend it has legs um if it did then yeah it should look like something like that if the background looks kind of stupid then yeah you can just play around with it i'm um, like i think around here is probably the best but yeah we're just going to delete the um render now if you want to save this as like a um like photo thing so that instead of just like making it every time like it'll just save you time you just want to press on full file then you want to um go to export has press dot um jpeg and you just want to like make the quality 100 percent if you make this like if you just leave this at like 70 it's just going to look like dog water and it's just not going to look good so you just want to make sure it's at 100 percent press save and it should be saved onto your computer 
And so yeah, so that's how you make your own um, blue and green background. Please stop asking me in my DMs 24 seven for the goddamn background. It will also be in my Discord server too, um, for those mobile users that are making thumbnails and don't know how to do it. Then yeah, um, yeah, the, the blue and green background will be in my Discord server. The, the um, link will be in the description below so that you can join my Discord server and you can find the um, background there. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, then definitely consider subscribing to the channel for more tutorials and more Bed Wars content like this. And yeah, without that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.